Good evening. I wanted to give you an update on the current situation in Afghanistan. As you know, we were set to leave Afghanistan this month, and as we began the final drawdown, I made some critical errors. Namely, I underestimated the strength of the Taliban, and I overestimated the strength and capability of the friendly Afghan forces. This was my fault. And due to my mistake, the Taliban has taken control of Afghanistan. There are reports now that ISIS and Al-Qaeda are working alongside them. Unfortunately, there are tens of thousands of Americans on the ground there, as well as friends and allies of America on the ground. And these people, Americans and our allies, are all stranded. And that is my fault. But they will not be stranded for long. In the next 48 hours, America will be in control of most major airports in Afghanistan. Any resistance we meet from the Taliban or otherwise when we seize these airports will be destroyed completely and without mercy. From those airports, we will conduct rapid strike rescue missions until we have recovered and evacuated all our citizens, allies, and friends. Any person that interferes with these operations will be killed. We will also recover or destroy all aircraft, vehicles, weapons, and sensitive equipment that we left behind. Any person utilizing, guarding, or located in close proximity to these weapons or equipment will be killed. Once we have evacuated all friendly personnel and recovered or destroyed the weapons and equipment left behind, we will depart Afghanistan. But we will continue to monitor everything that happens in Afghanistan through our ground and airborne surveillance equipment. Terrorist training camps or activity will be targeted and destroyed. Gross violations of human rights will be stopped through overwhelming force. And any group in Afghanistan fighting for freedom, liberty, and basic human rights will be supported through special operations forces and ruthless precision air power. We will continue that dedicated support until the enemy is no longer a threat to humanity or to the good people of Afghanistan. May God bless America and may God have mercy on the souls of our enemy because we will not. That is all.